Hello everyone, I'm Simone. Welcome back to my channel. And a lot of you requested me to do a video about how I film my dance covers and how I edit my dance covers. So I decided to film this video today to explain everything that I do to film my dance covers. As you can see, this is the place that I'm going to film my dance cover today. And the song that I'm covering today is Get It by Christine V, which was a song from 2018 a long time ago but I really love the song and I really love the dance so I decided to do a dance cover to this song and today in this video I'm going to show you all the way from what I need to prepare for a dance cover to how I add my dance cover so let's start So the next thing I do is to watch the dance video and divide up the parts. So this is my notes. And my notes are usually not this clean. And so the next thing to do is to set up a camera. So I set my camera here and I'm using Canon G7X Mark II. And it's fine, it's really fine if you film your dance cover with your phone. I sometimes film my dance cover with my phone and so it's totally fine if you don't have a camera. It's okay to film your dance cover with your phone. And one important thing when you're setting up your camera is that don't move your camera. Never move your camera. The reason why you don't want to move your camera is because if you move your camera, then the Camera angles will be different in every clip and it's really, really hard to edit. So, never ever move your camera. Please, please. This is really important. If you move your camera, you need to start over. So if I accidentally touch my camera, then I have to start over because the camera angles will be different and it's really hard to edit. So please, never ever move your camera. I always change my outfits throughout my dance covers and I usually do three outfits for a dance cover but I'm only doing two outfits for this dance cover and it's totally fine if you don't change your outfit it's totally fine if you just have one outfit for a dance cover and the reason why I want to change my outfits for my dance covers is because I really want to make my dance cover fancier and this is what people do so I change my outfits throughout my dance cover We're done with our notes, we're done with our camera setup, so it's time for us to dance! So this is my first outfit that I'm going to wear for this cover, and I always film one outfit at a time. For example, I'm going to film intro to end up first chorus first, then I skip to bridge to rap. So the reason why I'm skipping the second part is because I'm wearing another outfit for the second part, so then I don't have to keep changing my outfit. So I'm going to finish filming this outfit first and then change to my second outfit. So I'm going to start dancing. <laughs> I'm done with the first part and I accidentally moved my camera <laughs> I don't want to start over so <laughs> I really don't want to start over I'm really tired so I'm just gonna skip to the third part and then finish filming that part and then I'm going to change after I finish filming that part <laughs> One last time. One last time. One last time. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm so done with this part.
Do you see my face now, everyone? My camera went out of storage, so I had to move my camera. <laughs> I accidentally touched my camera, and that's okay, but my camera went out of storage, so I had to move my camera again. <laughs> no, I have so many angles in my dance cover. <laughs> so if you guys see like angles changes in my dance cover, then you know that I moved my camera. <laughs> So, I reset my camera, but the angles are still different. One last time, please! So I'm done with my first outfit. I'm going to change my second outfit. Two hours to film this dance cover. I'm so tired. Let's dive into the editing part. So I know many of you are really curious about how I edit my dance covers. It's really easy but there are several ways for you to edit your dance covers either on your computer or either on your phone. So the computer software that I use to edit my dance covers is Final Cut Pro. But today I'm going to show you how to edit on your phone. It's easier than editing on computer, so I'm going to show you how to edit on your phone. There are plenty of editing apps right now, but I think the best one is Jing Ying. That is a Chinese app, but the problem is you need to have a Chinese Apple ID in order to download the app. So, but if you don't have Chinese Apple ID, it's fine. There are a lot of editing apps and Velo, Velo, I think that's how you pronounce it, Velo. Velo works really well. There are a lot of effects, so if you don't have a Chinese Apple ID, you can download Velo. Velo is really good. It's enough for dance cover. So today I'm going to use Jane to add in my dance cover because that's what I use. But it's don't don't worry. It's it's fine because all the editing apps are really similar. And for me, I learned all the editing by myself. And what I do is to explore the app. So I think the thing you can do is to just explore everything on the app, like try all the facts and just play it. And you'll get used to it. So today I'm going to show you the steps of editing the dance cover rather than um, showing you how to use the app. I know this might look different if you're using Velo, but it's similar. You can look up tutorials online. I'm just gonna show you the um, steps. And then import the video, the clips that you film. And then these are the clips that I filmed. So after you import your clips and the music, you can like drag your clips so your clips are matching your music so drag your clips until all the clips are matching your music make sure they are matching because it will look really weird if your video is not matching your music so and after dragging your video the most important part is um, color correction and it might look different on different app, but for me, I'm just gonna like show you guys how how I color correct. I don't really have tips on editing, but what you can do is to try every filters, every effects until you are satisfied with it. Yeah, that's what I do. I I'm not familiar with all the filters yet, so what I do is just like try out the effects and filters one thing about editing dance cover is that 
This cover doesn't need a lot of effects because if you add too much effect, then your dance cover will be distracted by the effects. So, oh my god, my voice. <clears throat> so for editing, just import the videos and the music and then drag the clips until they are matching your music. And then after that, um, color corrections. So that's it for today. I really hope this video helps. Um, if it doesn't help, sorry but like if you <laughs> if you have more questions you can message me on instagram or comment below i'll try my best to help you yeah